Hello. All right, here's the deal. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do my hair for you. I don't, I just showered, not worth it. Also, I'm about to say a lot of words. I'm gonna get a lot off my chest that I've needed to for years. You're gonna have to bear with me. I appreciate that. Hey guys, my name is David Prater. When I was a kid, I used to go trick-or-treating, like a lot of kids tend to do. And it was fun for a long time because for a long time, I was, oh, I just got treated. I was never tricked. And then one year, for some reason, like six houses in my neighborhood decided to say, hey, let's scare the hell out of this child. He's eight. It's about time he learns that trick-or-treating is not just treating. We have to trick you in order for us to treat you. I remember there was this one year I was dressed up as a vampire, which was like four years in a row. And we went to this military house around the corner from us. And this dude was dressed up. I'm like, I, he's going to jump at me. I don't want him to jump at me. He's that, that, that scary. And my mom's like, no, no, don't be scared. Don't be scared. Vampires aren't scared. And I was like, you got it right there. You know. So I'm like, all right, me, this eight year old in my vampire costume, which is fearless. I'm gonna go take on like some early 20 year olds. Yeah, no, uh, I did for a second. And then he jumped just like I knew he would. And I ran back to the curb as fast as I could. And I, he, mm, I did not like, they didn't give me candy. That it was the worst. I hate that. Fast forward a couple years, I go to my first haunted house. It was in the sixth grade. I was with a friend of mine and his older brother and their friends. And I go and I'm like, all right, this is cool. And this is a cool group of people. I'm awesome. Go me. And I'm like going through it. And at the end of it, as a lot of haunted houses tend to do, there's a chainsaw person who chases you out of the building. And I did not like that. I ran and I screamed and I was scarred. I, mm, not, not a good idea. And I didn't go back to any kind of a haunted house at all until last year. That's my freshman year in college. There was a six year gap between my first haunted house and my second haunted house. But granted, the first one did a lot of things to me. It really screwed me up. In the eighth and ninth grade, I went to go help out as a volunteer and scare other people at a haunted house. It's like they did this to me, other people deserve it too. Just, uh, it was a very negative situation. So I'm afraid of Halloween. It's so spooky. Like my fear of haunted houses goes deeper than just like, oh, that's scary. It's like, oh no, 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 no. Two years ago, some friends of mine and I went to this haunted house. It was supposed to be really scary. It was out west of town, about two hours. And we go out there and I paid $15 and I wait in line for like an hour and a half or something. And we get up to the front door and I look at the girl that was next to me and I said, I'm not gonna do this. And she's like, all right, I'm not either. Then the other two guys called us pussies. They went in and I felt awesome. Like I, I, I do not regret not being in that situation because I know how much I would have been screwed up after that. I don't, mm, mm. So I'm afraid of Halloween. I'm also afraid of things that hop. Cause they just, they just hop out of, no, they just jump out of nowhere. I went golfing with my dad as a kid and there was this one spot that my ball went down in the swampy area, but I could still see it. I'm like, I'm going to hit that ball. But there were all these frogs and he's like, no dude, you got to hit the ball as it lies. I'm like, all right, all right, I will. And I go down there and to quote John Mulaney, it was like that scene in Ratatouille whenever the humans come into the kitchen, the frogs just scattered like everywhere. It was ridiculous. I freaked out. I probably cried a little, a lot, I don't know. So that's why I don't like those. During the summer, my front porch will be covered in frogs. Is ridiculous. I always have to use the garage and sometimes in from the garage is really dark and there's like tons of frogs there too. How do I deal with it? I close my eyes and I run in real fast. I hate grasshoppers because those fly and they hop. Can you say double trouble? I can. You know I can because I just did. So tell me in the comment section down below what are your biggest fears and why? I really want to know to rationalize my own. That's, I mean, that's really why. It, mm. I hope you all have a really happy and safe Halloween. I don't know how you have a safe, like, uh, ugh, hmm. so just, I d don't, do not die. That's my one request. If you like this video, click the like button. If you hated this video, click the like button. If you want to see more like it, tell me in the comment section down below and subscribe to me. Follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, and snap my chat. I'd love to hear from you. Get pumped up for next week. I'm going to have another braces video because more things have been happening and you guys are way too into that. And with all of that, I'm going to put it into a nice little jack-o'-lantern, put the top on, set it down, light it, and I'm going to go. So yeah. Bye.